So this is my digital twin, and it looks like me, talks like me, and even moves like me. Now what's crazy is I can talk in any language I want. Now that was pretty cool, right? Now I'm not gonna waste your time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your very own realistic AI avatar like mine in under 10 minutes. Now this is crazy because now you can completely automate your content. And I did this four months ago on my second Instagram channel that now has over 80,000 followers. And the perks of this is you unlock an entirely new income stream that you can completely autopilot. Now quickly, before jumping into it all, if you are new to AI and want to learn how to use all the best tools to create content for yourself or your brand, or you just wanna stay ahead of the curve, then be sure to check out my AI community down below. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, you wanna head over to HeyGen's website and sign in. Now, if you don't have an account already, you can actually go ahead and start this on their free plan, which is awesome. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Now, once you're logged in, you wanna go ahead and tap on avatar. Now you'll be able to click on create new and it's gonna give you two different options. Start from a video or start from a photo. Now, I do wanna go ahead and show you both options because both are really, really good. So let's go ahead and start with the video option, which is the most realistic. So we're gonna go ahead and click on start from video. You're gonna be on this page, which is gonna give you a little bit of a demo on how you can go ahead and do it. But we're gonna go ahead and click on get started. Now a few instructions when you actually go ahead and film your video, make sure you're using the right equipment and submit a two to five minute long video. I've done three minutes, I've done four minutes, I've done five minutes, they're all really good as long as it's over two minutes. Make sure you have a good environment. So for instance, this video right here, it's got a nice background and it's lit correctly. You also make sure that you're speaking in a natural and clear tone. Make sure you're also using a good audio because good audio is very important. Now, if you want to have an engaging AI avatar, make sure that you're doing correct hand movements. And once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. So you go ahead and click on next. From here, you can go ahead and either record a video on your phone, record via a webcam, or just upload your footage. So you're gonna get the best avatars by uploading your own footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this one. This one is three minutes long. We'll give it a quick preview. You can see it's just me talking like I'm doing a standard YouTube video and make sure that you have good pauses. So for instance, don't talk like I'm talking right now, make sure that you do a proper sentence and then do a little pause and then you can start your next sentence. So that just means that it basically analyzes your footage better so it's not always going all over the place. Now you do have a few more options here, you can remove the background noise, you can add an AI background remover and you can have 4k resolution. Because I'm using a studio quality microphone I don't need the remove background noise but this is completely up to you. The AI background remover is actually a really nice feature to have because let's say you wanted to green screen yourself, the option is there. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on next. Then you just need to verify your avatar. So this is the first time you're doing it. You'll need to submit a second video, which you can just do on your phone or on your webcam. It's basically just going to make sure that you are who you say you are. So it just basically allows you not to create avatars of other people, basically. Now I've already got mine, so I can go ahead and skip this step. So click on next. Now it's basically just going to analyze all of this and tell you if your video is good. Now you don't have to wait for this to submit if you don't want to, but it's always good to do it just so you can see that everything is ticked. And if there's something with an X, then you can probably improve it on your next avatar. But we're gonna go ahead and click on submit. And as you can see, our video is now uploading. Now, while our avatar is generating, let's go ahead and make our photo one so you can compare both of them and see why it's good to have both. So head back to your avatar and this time we're going to click on my face, create new, and then start from a photo. Now you can either upload a realistic photo of yourself or you can design one with AI, but because we're going for the realistic look, we're going to upload a photo. So I'm gonna to head to my downloads, drag that in and boom. You can also see a good example of what good photos look like as well as bad photos. Once you're ready, click on upload and this is gonna start creating your avatar. And voila. It's that simple. So now our avatars are ready, let's go ahead and create some videos. So let's go ahead and create our avatars. So we're gonna select the one that we've just created, which is this one. You'll see that it also pops up with a bit of a demo of what your avatar is actually going to look like. So we're gonna go ahead and create a video. So you select create with AI Studio, and now this is gonna bring it into the editor. Now there's two ways you can actually go ahead and create your avatar, and that's with text or audio. So if you wanted to just type something out just like this, like, hey, my name is Seb, and today we're going to do a tutorial on HN avatars, it's basically going to use the audio that we provided in the sample video and then try and clone that to then replicate our voice. Now, this is pretty good and it will do the job, 
but I personally prefer using my own audio. But for the sake of showing you what it looks like, we're going to use the text and then I'm going to show you the audio option and then you can see a side by side comparison. But genuinely, they both are really good and you can use either option. Now, before you go ahead and generate your video, you have a few more options here. You have AI background. So if you did select that, you can basically just click on remove. It's going to start applying the effect and boom, it's already done it. And if you wanted, you could add a color or to go even further, you could then click on customize, which has a bunch of stock images, or you can upload your own images to create a background. So this is what it looks like. But because we already have a nice background, we're going to leave it as it is. Here you can change your layout, circle or close up. And then if you wanted to add a border, you could do it like this. But we're going to be using the full layout. Now, the most important part here is your avatar which is inside of Motion Engine. So Avatar 4 creates the most realistic avatars, but then the unlimited version is a slightly lower quality one. However, you do get unlimited usage inside of your plan, which is amazing. But both options are great. And again, I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of Avatar 4 as well as Unlimited, just so you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Generate. Hey, my name is Seb, and right now we're testing what text to video. So this is what I sound like and look like and now what we're going to go ahead and do is use our own voice. So if we go ahead and remove the text, this time we're going to click on audio, then upload audio, and then I've already uploaded it here. So we're going to select it, click on add audio. But you can see it's going to start transcribing it. So here we're saying this is my digital twin and it looks like me, talks like me and even moves like me. And now what's crazy is I can talk in any language. So if I go ahead and click on it, generate, that's going to start running in the background. However, you do have a few more options. Like I say here, I can talk in any language I want. In order to do this, all I have to do is click on translate. Now from here, I can select my target language. So let's say I want to speak in French. I can click that and then we can leave the translate script and translate text on canvas. Just leave that as it is, then click translate as a new draft. Now, once it's done, then you want to go ahead and click on voice. If you don't see this page, then you can just click up here and it will pop this open. Go on voice and then here we've got our original accent and then here we can select all of these languages. So because we said we we're going to do French, let's go ahead and type in French. Click down here and then we can do French France. Go ahead and click on that. And then your French voice will be applied. Now, before we hit generate, I do also want to show you a few more features inside of Eleven Labs. Your scene is where you're going to be doing most of your stuff. And again, make sure you have Avatar 4 selected. But then you do have a few AI features like a script writer, motion designer, image generator, and video generator. Now, what's cool about this is you can basically just type in whatever you want. So a uh, cat flying in space. And from here, you can go ahead and select whichever image model you want. So we'll go with Nano Banana, click on Generate, and in just a few seconds, you'll get an image just like this. Now, what's really cool about this is that you can edit your video inside of HeyGen, and then you can finish it off in whichever editor you want, or you could just do it all inside of HeyGen, which is awesome. You have a few more options down here, like media, so you can just drag in stock images or videos or upload your own. And then here you have elements. So again, if you wanted to add a square, for example, and then you wanted to add some text, you could add all of that inside and then just edit your video again, all inside of HN. You have a few options to add music right here. And again, and you can upload your own. Here you've got captions. So this basically just adds some dynamic captions to your video. So we go ahead and click on play. You can see that it's in sync with whatever I'm saying. Finally, you have a few templates here. So if you're creating for a specific theme or brand, then you can go ahead and replace the scene just like that. But then this time you go ahead and click on change avatar, go to my avatars, Seb, and then we have to go ahead and find the new one that we created, which is this one right here. And then boom, we can go ahead and remove the background and then resize it. And then you can see that we've edited our video just like that. Now, because we want to keep this as consistent as possible to show you the examples, we're going to remove everything and then we're going to go ahead and generate our video. So this is my digital twin and it looks like me, talks like me and even moves like me. Now what's crazy is I can talk in any language I want. Now to generate avatars of the images that you've used, it's the exact same process. So make sure that you're under avatars, then we're going to go ahead and select the photo, which is this one right here. 
we can click on create with AI Studio. And again, the process is the exact same. You can either type out what you want, but in order to use your voice, you do need to make sure you have already added your voice inside of HeyGen. But again, you could just upgrade your audio, but because we have a bunch of different templates of my avatar, I already have my voice inside of here. So we could just say, hey, my name is Seb again, or what we could do is just basically just add the audio like we did before, boom, click add audio, and then we can go ahead and hit on generate. Now you do also have the exact same option to choose between avatar four and unlimited. So we're gonna do a comparison of four and unlimited just so you can also see what those look like. Okay, so now all of our avatars have finished generating, we can give them a preview. So we're gonna start off with the video ones. And first up, we're going to be using the text to video. So this is what it sounds like and looks like. Hey, my name is Seb and right now we're testing what text to video. So this is what I sound like and look like. This next version is going to be the Avatar 4 using my own audio clip. And now on screen, you're seeing the same one using the audio, but this time we're using Avatar 4 on the left and then the unlimited avatar on the right. And as you can see, they all look really, really good. It's actually crazy impressive how realistic they look. So now we're gonna do a comparison of the photo versions. So here we have a photo of me, and this is using the avatar four model. And then on the right, it's gonna be using the unlimited version. So this is my digital twin, and it looks like me, talks like me, and even moves like me. And there you have it. That's how you create your very own realistic AI avatars in minutes. Now, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, then smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome AI updates just like this. And again, if you want to learn how to master all the best AI tools, then be sure to check out my AI community down below. I'll see you in the next one.